What's going on everyone? My name's Butters, and I haven't seen most of the new shiny forms for the Pokemon Sword and Shield, new Galarian forms, and new additional Pokemon in the Pokedex. So I thought what could be a cool idea is if I go through the entire Pokedex and give you all my first initial reactions to what these shiny forms look like. Now, of course, there's been instances and thumbnails, you know, when people do shiny hunting streams, when I do shiny hunting streams, where I'll catch a glimpse of something, but I've been trying to keep mostly away from that because I wanted to find it for the first time on stream. But I realize at this point I'm gonna see things before they find them on shiny hunting streams Which by the way I do shiny hunt pretty much every single day on twitch.tv slash pirates We also like to uh, do some shiny hunting streams on YouTube from time to time So make sure you're following me on Twitch and make sure you're subscribed on YouTube now that we've gotten that out of the way What I've done is I have filled the pokedex with all of the forms here uh, as you can see, all of the Pokedex is entirely filled. I'm gonna go, ah, oh, don't look at that. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So there's Tootles, apparently. And we're gonna go by Pokedex number. And we're gonna go right back up to the top. I filled it because I'm a dirty cheater. And, uh, <laughs> I'm a dirty cheater. And essentially what I can do is I can look at the shiny form of each individual Pokemon like this. So, let's get into it. My first reactions, kind of, to every single shiny form in Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's also gonna include some of the older Pokemon because, you know, sometimes I like to rant about those. Let's go. First off, Grookey. I mean, really, really, really? You could have tried a little bit harder than this. I think I prefer the normal Grookey. I'm not gonna lie, I do. This just looks washed out. It looks like, gro this, this Grookey looks like if you left this Grookey out in the sun for too long and it got like sun, sunburn, not sunburn, but like sun bleached. It's just like, it lo it's just colors are washed out. Which is sad. Then we have Thwacky, which is slightly better. All right, I, I see where they're kind of going with this. It's slightly better, not a huge difference, but you know, not every shiny has to have a huge difference, does it? No, it doesn't. So we got Thwacky, mm, it's, it's, it's fine, it's, it's fine, it's all right. All right, Rillaboom, please be good. Whoa! Right, oh, that's not what I was expecting. He even has a shiny drum! His drum is even a different color, which I don't know if that makes sense. I mean, it's Pokemon. You know, who cares about making sense in this day and age, honestly? He's 6'11? My god, this boy is big. I mean, I thought I was tall, and I'm I'm like 6'1, 6'2. My lord! Jeez, he's 6'11 I and mean, he was 200 pounds? Interesting, okay. Score Bunny. Oh, okay, see, this is a shiny I can get down with. I like this one. It's not too much of a difference, it's, it, but you do see the difference there. It, it doesn't have to be super over the top every single time. You even got the slight change in the eyes, which is nice. I can get down with this. It's all right. Raboot is gray now. Okay, interesting. Same headband though. Didn't want to get rid of the headband. Bought it for $5 off Amazon. Said, you know what? I'm being frugal this Christmas. Don't need to buy another headband, all right? Did buy another jumpsuit though. Did decide, you know what? Maybe the jumpsuit needs to go. Let's see about Cinderace then. Whoa, yeah, I'm not a fan of this. This gray just does not go well in my opinion. But yeah, I mean, you do get a lot of gray bunnies in, in the UK, that's true. But this gray, I don't know about it. It's it, it, it kind of puts me off. But at the same time, I don't think I like Cinderace's design just in general. I will say this until the end of time. Cinderace's design just looks like a guy in a suit. And I, I'm, not, I'm not totally down with it, but... Oh, Sobble's shiny. See, I'm a little bit spoiled by this because I saw uh, Sam, aka the Poker Spectre, aka the creator of Pokemon Subliminal version, made a new texture for the shiny version of Sobble that was like gray and it looked super sick. So I prefer that one to this one, but honestly, I, I, I dig this Sobble. This is, this is pretty good. And then Drizzle, which again, it's not bad. I, honestly, if you put these two in front of me, I probably wouldn't be able to tell you which one was shiny and which one wasn't. I mean, I know obviously right now, like this is the shiny version right now, but in general, yeah, I mean, I, I haven't uh, had enough time with these mons just yet. And then Encelion, oh, he's got the white trackies on. He's got the white trackies on, but then the glove, the white glove, I dig the white trackies. No, 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 not a fan of that. He goes from yellow eyes to pink eyes. This man has pink eye. Okay, interesting. And it, wow, this is without a doubt the worst one we've seen yet. It's just a less saturated version. It looks worse. Oh Lord, they've ruined Blip Bug. All right, Dollar, save me. Dollars is okay. This is fine. You got a nice little color change there. It's almost like a, I think it's, is it just on the helmets? Yeah, it's, it's only a color change on the helmet, which is interesting. See, it's it's interesting when they only change like certain parts of it instead of just doing like a huge change in Photoshop. They only change like the, the helmet there. And you can see this man is certainly a helmet. Absolutely is. Oh, Beetle, oh, be Oh, Beetle, don't disappoint me, I really like you. Oh, I mean, it's so 
okay. This is it's fine. I was thinking there's probably something more creative you could have done with like the the shell. This just kind of looks blue. Like this this one kind of stands out more to be honest. Ah, uh, and that, yeah, we're, we already know what Caterpies looks like. All right, Rookity, let's see you. I've, I have seen Rookity because so many people started shining out in Rookity as soon as the game came out. It has a nice little golden flare on it. Well, it's, it's more like a washed out yellow to be fair, but I mean, it's not bad. Corva Squire, mm, I have high hopes for you. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Nah, I don't mind that. It reminds me of uh, like the silver armor that Yield Knights would used to wear. Back in Yield Medieval times, when you would don thine armor and gallop into thine battle. That's kind of cool. Corviknight is... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a sick shiny. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and there's the gigant... Wait, is there... Can I see the shiny Gigantamax? Oh, there it is! There it is! Now that's a good boy right there. I dig it. Absolutely. Scove it. It's just like red. You just made it red, didn't you? It's just, it's, it's, you put a red tint on it. Again, Photoshop, just put the red tint on. I could do that. And, ooh, ooh, what happened to his, ooh, his eyes look weird. His eyes look, yeah, his eyes look really strange. It's like they're just, it's just the black that's his eyes now. Interesting. Nickit, I think I've seen you too. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen this thing in thumbnails all over the YouTubes. I uh, have, but I, I mean, it's, it's not bad. I'm trying to think if this reminds me of anything. I don't think it does, but it's, it's not terrible. And then Thievel is... Thievel's is... Uh, it's just like a, a, a straight swap of colors here. A straight, like, tint on it. I mean, this thing looks like it actually has a design. Whereas this one was like, okay, just like put like a filter on it. And make it look old-timey. Wait a minute! Is this supposed to reference... Kind of like the old timey like cat burglar movies that would be shown in like black and white because they didn't have color movies projector things back then. Or maybe it was just a tint they put on because they were lazy. I don't know. Zigzagoon. Oh, that's nice. Look at his tongue. Look at his tongue. Now this definitely stands out. And I'm totally down with this. I'm 100% down with this. And then of course there is the Great Bear. Please have a good shiny form, Great Bear. It's, 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 it's the same. I should have seen this coming to be honest. I mean, I don't mind it. It's fine. He goes from red eyes to blue eyes. He turns from the red eyes black dragon to the blue eyes white dragon. Nice one, Linoon. And then Obstagoon comes in and... Oh, this color scheme does not fit with Obstagoon. No, no, no. Now, this design, this is sick. This? That's weird. No, no, no. Ugh, not a fan. Now, I already know what Wooloo looks like because... Bar bar black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three Wooloos full. So, as you can see, it's just a straight up color swap. You turn the black into the white, and you turn the white into the black. But I will say, having a black sheep is... I, I think that was a good idea for it, to be fair. And then dub wool, is it the same thing? Yeah, it's just it's just the same thing. You just, like, flip the colors, and you're like, shiny accomplished. Which, I mean, I'm not totally against. I think this is fine. Hello, Lotad. Ah, Chul, the one that we saw before. It's really green. I don't know if I prefer this. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. But let's see. All right, Dreadnoughts. I haven't seen Dreadnoughts yet. It's going to look the same, though. Oh! Oh, that's not bad. That reminds me of Torterra. A little bit, actually. This isn't bad at all. I, I, I could totally get down with that. Oh, but wait, the Gigantamax shiny, though? Uh, I, I think the first one works a little bit better for the Gigantamax. Not going to lie. Though it's not bad by any means. I don't think so. All right, I will never get over the fact that Purloin stands on two legs. This makes me incredibly uncomfortable. If my cat walked up to me standing on two legs... <laughs> I'm just imagining my cat walking up to me standing on two legs now. <laughs> oh, it's Yampa. Oh, Yampa, you... <laughs> I so wanted you to not disappoint. Oh, you had such a you had such a good shot there, Yampa. It's just like slightly tinted pink. I mean, I'm still gonna shiny hunt for you regardless, but mate, 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 you you were you were the chosen one! Boltons, please tell me you're a little bit better. No, you're not! I'm devastated. I'm I'm genuinely heartbroken about this. You could have been so much better. You could have been so much more. This is this is actually heartbreaking. Wait, Kingla has a Gigantamax, doesn't it? I just want to see what the shiny Gigantamax. Oh, okay. I feel like I've missed a couple of Gigantamaxes. I might look at the the other ones too. But wow, I love this design. This thing looks so sick. I love it. Oh, look, it's it's the distant cousin of, of Subnoodle. Subnoodle, it's, look, it's your cousin. It's your distant cousin that you're definitely not related to directly because Subnoodle is not a Pokemon, but they're distantly related via Digimon. 
by the way, if you didn't know. All right, you know what I'm really surprised about is the fact that Driflim did not get a Gigantamax. It just seems to make sense that a massive blimp would turn into like a massive blimp, you know? You know those blimps that they used in the Second World War? I think it was the Germans that used them actually. Like a Gigantamax like that, that could actually make a lot of sense. But unfortunately, we do not have it. Oh, Gossiflor, okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's it's fine. It looks like it does look pure evil. I'm not gonna lie. This looks like the kind of thing that would directly steal my soul and just put it in a cardboard box and then set the cardboard box on fire just because it enjoyed seeing it burn. All right, Eldegoss. Oh, Eldegoss is a nice one though. I do like how they didn't change the the big head afro thing that it's got going on there. This looks nice. It's got like a little nice black dress on it. It's got kind of like a, a pink tiara going on, pink crown. That's nice. Oh, my champ. Wait, chat, my champ's Gigantamax. It's gonna be the big green man. Are you ready to see the Incredible Hulk times 10? Here we go. There it is, the Incredible Hulk times 10. My lord. He's been eating his protein, hasn't he? How many chicken breasts did it take to get all that muscle, mate? Nah, he's, he's, you know he's been on the gear. You know he's been on the gear. Oh, and Gastly's, sorry, Gengar's as well. Hold on. There's the shiny. Wait, wait, okay, okay, okay. I don't know what it looks like. Does he get the white shiny or does he get the gray shiny? Let's see. Wait, no, go back. He gets the white shiny that the Mega Gengar gets. Oh, that's sweet. That's actually very cool. I'm down with that. This whole Gigantamax makes me incredibly confused though. Yo, Gyarados didn't get a Gigantamax, which just boggles the mind, but Garboda did. So let's see what this guy looks like, eh? Okay. Wait, did they change any of the colors of the of the of the things in the Oh they did? They changed the car color. They changed the yep, they changed the plane color, they changed the building color. Ah. What I want to know is why there's such a big substitute doll in that. Why is there a substitute doll the size of a car in this Gigantamax Garboda? Who's buying substitute dolls the size of cars? No one. No one's out there purchasing these. Ooh, but we got Sizzlepeed now. Nice. Sizzlepeed shiny, incredibly underwhelming. It, they only changed the back, didn't they? They only changed the back, that's so sad. All right, Center Scorch. Center Scorch, though, I say I, I like a little bit more because they changed the little, little leggies. Wait, did they change the leggies on this one? No, they didn't, but they changed the legs on this one. And now Center Scorch's Dynamax or Gigantamax uh, is pointless. Why did you, I mean, I can't see the back of it though. I mean, you can see the back of it, there's nothing there. That is incredibly disappointing. But Roly Coley here, which I will never ever understand why they didn't make Roly Coley's final evolution a steam train Pokemon. It is a coal Pokemon with the steam engine ability in the region where the steam train was invented to begin with that turns into a mine cart that rolls on tracks that then evolves into a mountain with coal on it instead of a steam train, which would have made way more sense, been way cooler. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just ranting at this point. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just have to. I love Hot Wheels though. Hot Wheels, mate, you're cool. Colossal, I don't dislike you, but you could have been so much more. You really could have been. And you're shiny, it's it, that, that, no, it, it's fine, it's fine. Like, I love the furnace idea, that's whatever but it would have been so much better as a steam train. It really would have been. And the shiny version is, it's, it's just all right, isn't it? It's just fine. Aracuda, hey, I love this thing. I loved using this in my Nuzlocke. It was absolutely just fantastic. Let's see what you look like. Okay, I mean, that's not bad. You got like the, the nice, uh, they got like a nice little blue tint on it. It's not bad. I think I prefer this design to the original design. So yeah, I, I rate that. That's a, that's a solid six out of 10. That's fine. Barascuda though. Yeah, it's 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 good. I think again, I think I do prefer this design over the original design. I give that a thumbs up and a 6.5. Ooh, Galarian Meowth. One of my favorite new Galarian forms. Very happy with that. Oh, it looks like the original Meowth. I see what they're doing with this. It does look like the original Meowth. Okay. And Berserker. Now, actually, as I'm recording this video, I'm shiny hunting for Berserker. So here's the spoiler! It looks good! I already think I knew what this looked like though, but it looks good. I'm actually really looking forward to this because I, I think this looks fantastic. That, that's a good shiny. A very basic, very good shiny. It won't stand out, but it's definitely nice. And then we have Persian here, which is the worst shiny of all time, apparently. There's, there, what the, the, with the ear changes and that's it? I'm disappointed. Milsery. Wait, no, 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 hold on, hold on, Milsery. 
Whoa! This thing turns into marshmallow fluff. Oh, I just want to eat you up, Milster. You look delicious. Yes, you do. Now, Al Creamy has about 75 different forms. Ooh. Ooh, that's not... Ooh, that's not bad. Yeah, that stands out. That's a memorable shiny right there. Do we have... We have the shiny form of every single different variant of Al Creamy here. Oh, I wonder which... Oh, which one's my favorite? Ooh, I like the clover one. This is nice. Orange one. Okay. Oh, that's, that is very nice. And then we get into these ones. What, what? This. Okay, this is super cool. There's like 75 different types of Al Creamy though, isn't there? Wait, are we ever going to get to the end of this? We're never going to get to the end of this, are we? Hold on. Yeah, wait, we're never going to get to the end of this. There's like infinite variants. <laughs> Look at that, it's a blueberry version. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, Jesus, there are so many different... I, I don't even know if I've gone back to like around to the where I were before or if I'm still going. There's like 70 different variants of this thing, I think. Wait, is that, is that the original one? I reckon that's the original one. All right, keep it on. Keep on moving, shall we? Just keep on moving. Wait, 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 wait. Gigantamax Pikachu. God, I, I don't like the sunburn Pikachu. I think they could have done much more with this, honestly. Oh, I don't have Gigantamax Pikachu in my Pokedex. I thought I would have it. Wait, no, wait, no, we do. Wait, wait, wait. We, we, we potentially do. Pikachu, would you stop sh saying things? Yeah, we have all the different hat variants. Oh, but if we get to the end of the hat variants... If we get to the- There's the Atch Catchem hat! The Atch Catchem? There's the- Ooh, that cry though. Okay, let's see. Look at this shiny Gigantamax Pikachu! That's a Chubby Chew right there! I love Chubby Chew. I actually think Chubby Chew is better than Fat- Nah, uh, Skinny Chew. What's your favorite? Do you prefer Chubby Chew or Skinny Chew? If you made it this far in the video, let me know in the comment section below. Chubby Chew or Skinny Chew? And then there's Raichu. The long lost forgotten evolution. That was never given any love. Very sad. Oh, but we do have Eevee though. Okay. Got the Eevee. Eevee. There it is. This thing looks like it's gonna punch me in the mouth. Are you serious? And there's, okay. This one looks like the dead version of it. It's the dead version of Eevee. That's all it is. Congratulations, you've killed Eevee. Well done. Applin is a green apple. I don't know why I didn't see that one coming. Of course it's gonna be a green apple. It's it's an apple Pokemon. Why would it not be a green apple? And then, yeah, yeah okay, this is fine. Yeah, this is totally fine. It makes sense within the context. It's a decent enough shiny. I would have kind of liked it if they changed what the inside looks like. Maybe to, to a different color, because the, the green just kind of like melds in with, with the green on the outside too. Oh, but the Dynamax. Yo, yo, I forgot about this, the Gigantamax. Again, it's a green apple, makes sense. And Appleton is a green apple. But I think I prefer the normal version of Appleton. But I will devour an apple pie. Don't you get me wrong. I will absolutely devour that thing. Farfetch. Now, I love this new design. I'm pretty sure I got spoiled on this, but it's... Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, where's the change? Are you serious? Are you serious? It has a slightly more yellow belly. Is that it? That's all they did for the shiny? Are you genuinely serious? Why? Why? Why did you do that? Why did you... You ruined the new Farfetch, and it's so cool too. At least they did something for Surfetch. Make him a yellow ducky, like a rubber ducky in a bathtub. Fine. But like, oh man, they, they're gonna. Oh, they, so much opportunity wasted. Ah, Galarian Sunfisk. What do you look like, like, Shiny? Oh, you look like a normal Sunfisk. Okay, yeah, like, look at that. There, there's the normal Sunfisk, and there's the normal Galarian, and there's the Shiny Galarian. Not, not ideal, to be honest. Could be a lot better than that. Ooh, new, new Corsola. New co no, no, I want the new Corsola. The dead one is so sad. Ugh. God, it's so depressed. Ugh. I, 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 I'm so, I feel so bad for this thing. If shiny is, it's, it's shiny is the slightly more depressed version. Got it. Okay. What about Corsola? Oh my God! It's this is the saddest thing I've ever seen in this entire game. But Impidimp, however, I did recently get a shiny Impidimp, so I already know what this looks like. What about the evolutions, though? What about Morgrim? Um, I'm not sure I would have picked those colors specifically. But I mean, it's not—it's kind of bad, but it's not terrible. Grimmsnarl, though. Grimmsnarl is a very interesting one. They went super bright when I don't think it made a whole lot of sense to go super bright on this one. But it's—it's it's fine. Wait, wait, Grimmsnarl's Gigantamax, though. She, this looks like some kind of anime villain. This looks like something on a, this looks something I looks, I don't know, like my hero, like one of those, like Hellsing a bridge, a uh, bridged, a Hellsing ultimate or whatever it's called. That's what that looks like. And then you got the white version. Yo, I, I'm just saying the twins, the twins could, this could be, this could be the ultimate enemy in any anime. I bet you it could. Oh, and hat, hat thing. Oh no, the hat thing. Oh no, it sucks. Oh, the hat thing's shiny. Oh no, the hat thing's shiny. It's not good. 
Needs a little bit more color, needs more pop, needs more pizzazz. Uh, come on now. This is, no. What? Hold on. Where's the shininess? Do you mean it's slightly whiter? Are you serious? Really? Of all the, of all the bloody things. All right, let's see this Gigantamax shiny. Oh look, you can't even tell the difference. It's like, you can kind of very vaguely tell if you really squint and look at it. God, that's so bad. God. This was gonna be the thing. This reminds me of God of War. This is gonna be like the new God of War for me. And uh, this is not got a good shiny, has it? It just hasn't got a good shiny. Like God of War's Mega Evolution shiny, so good. Not this thing though. Oh, we all know what coughing looks like, but wheezing though? Shiny wheezing? Oh no, the opportunity is gone. I mean, it's, it's, it's like slightly browner. You could have at least made a black to go with like the black top hat. He's got a top hat on and the black would have worked because you know, the, the massive factory chimneys that spew out all of the the horrible noxious gases that cause Victorian London to choke under its own success. But no, you just went the route with the wool paint it slightly brown and that'll be better, won't it? Wait, 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 do I have Snorlax's Gigantamax on this? I do! Oh my god, I didn't even realize that this was a thing that I could get yet. And it's shiny is, yeah, it's shiny is awful. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Oh no, they actually do, they actually did change the tree. They did change the tree, I will say that. They, yeah, they changed a lot of the, the fauna that they got going on in the belly area. Which is nice. Aw, uh, cute fans. I love- This is one of my new favorite additions as well. This thing is fantastic. Oh, and it has- Okay, I like this shiny. It's nothing spectacular. It won't stand out. It won't, like, pop out in front of you and be like, Whoa, here I am! Well, I mean, it kind of will a little bit, but it's still nice. Nice little yellow, nice little green going on there. It's, it's fine. And then we got a big rectangle here. The big old rectangle, which, I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's a good shiny. That is a- That's just straight up a fine shiny. I got the nice yellow on there. Got a darker- Green. I, I can dig it. Cramorant. Do we get to see the different forms of the Pikachu in the mouth? Do we get to see that? We do! We, do we get- We get to- This is the shiny version of the Pikachu mouth. Now that's what you want to see. <laughs> no, I actually do like the shiny though. The orange. It's a nice little contrast to the, to the usual blue. It's very- It stands out quite a bit. And... You know, it's not often you see like a really good orange shiny, so I, I can, I, I respect it. And then Toxels is like pink, which I guess makes sense because it's a baby and babies love pink. If there's anything I know about babies, it's that babies love pink. It's actually the baby Pokemon classification. But we got the punk boy now, whose shiny is, ooh, oh, yo, that, that, yeah, 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 yeah. I dig this. That, I mean, it's not, it's not too much of a change. It's not a massive change at all, but it's fine. How about this one? That's awful. That is terrible. The amped up form, this is way better than the punk form. Way, way, way better. The shiny just like doesn't even appear. It doesn't even make itself known. Like I know the amped up form is the one that's like more out there and it's, it's making itself known. But come on now, you could have at least tried. You could put an effort in. And just a little bit. I didn't even know this thing had a Gigantamax. I didn't even realize it had a Gigantamax, what? And its shiny is terrible. That's so sad. Since when has this been a thing? I've never seen this. Oh, Silicobra, but you know, I know this thing does. Okay, this shiny is... It's, 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 ugh. it's just like more washed out, isn't it? I mean, have a little bit of an eye change there, which is fine. Like, if you, if you showed this to me, I'd be like, yeah, that's a normal one. In fact, this should be the shiny one. They should have swapped it. They really should have swapped it. It would look much better in my opinion, but okay. Ah, but this, this has a nice shiny. See, it actually looks like a new shiny. It looks great. It looks like it would be a good shiny Pokemon here, but what about the, the giant, oh, the giant boy is ugly. What is this? Jesus. And the slightly, shiny version is slightly better. I can respect this. I do like the whole gray aspect that they got going on with this. It's fine. Oh, Galarian, your mask. I almost forgot about this one. Let's see. Oh, I mean, it's, it's, it's all right. What did the original one look like? This is the original and that was the original shiny. See, I actually prefer the original version. I think the original version of your mask looks really cool. This, I I don't really, I, I, I don't really like this version of your mask all that much. I'm gonna go, oh, they made it a ground type. I didn't even realize they made it a ground type. That's cool. And then they have the shiny version, which it does give a little more emphasis on the runic version, or sorry, the runic thing that, it, that it's, it's carrying the slab around, which is nice. And then we have this, which, come on and give me, I love this design. I just want to say this design is so cool. Give me something good here. Yeah, that's a good, that's something I can be impressed with. Cause I already loved shiny Kofagrius. 
And this is th absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much. Because, I mean, look at this. That's that's a really good shiny. Like, And this, just continuing the the streak of having good shinies. So, well done. Ponyta! What do you look like? Oh, I mean, yeah, that's... that's. I would like, like, a, a change on the body to make it stand out a little bit more. But the hair, the hair looks good. The hair looks good. The, the thing is, the hair stands out a little bit less, I feel, than it does with the, the normal version. Did they change the color of the horn? No, they didn't change the color of the horn at all. All right, what about Rapidash? Pretty much the same deal as before, but I mean, if you look at normal Rapidash, the shiny Rapidash, it's such a big change. You know, you have the gray flames. I do think it should have blue flames instead of gray flames, but this isn't bad. I can, I, I dig it. It's, it's all right. Sinisi, of course, you know, if you want some tea, you gotta buy a sub noodle mug. Link is in the description to buy our sub noodle mugs, but I already, I already said my, my opinions on this thing. I like this shiny form. It reminds me of a character from Beauty and the Beast. For some reason, it just reminds me of a Disney character. That's what Paul Guys reminds me of. And if you look at the shiny, this shiny form actually isn't as good, but I still respect it. It's, it's still fine. Indeedy, I still don't know what you're supposed to be, but your shiny is very run of the mill, very basic. Nothing, nothing hugely amazing going on here. I'm not gonna lie. Wait a minute, there's different forms. Oh, there is. How does this work? Oh, it's a male and female form. Okay, I get you. Indeedy, you're just Ordino. You're just British Ordino. What's your tea mug? What's your sinister at? More pickle. Oh, oh, we get to see the shiny form for the normal form and for the hangry form. Okay, like that's that's actually not bad. To be fair, I think all they did was change like the base body color. It looks more ghostly that way. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, that's a terrible shiny form for the hangry mode. No, they could have made it red. They could have made him look really hangry. They could have made him red and they just decided not to. They barely even changed it. It's like slightly less saturated. God, that's an, that's embarrassing, that is. Now, this is a good shiny. I like this a lot. I mean, it's it's a big change. I mean, Phalanx in general is a Pokemon that I really, really like from this generation. But I think I think this is a sick shiny. There's some nice brown armor, though I don't think brown armor like this and an incredibly bright yellowness would really help you on the battlefield when you're forming a Phalanx to stop the Roman invaders. But hey, what can you do, right? Ah, uh, it's Snom. And Snom is... Why are there so many shinies in this game that are barely changed? God, I wish there was more effort put into the shinies, because uh, the shiny hunting is one of my favorite parts about the entire Pokemon series. I just love getting them. Come on, have a good one. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, uh, the green eyes? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm totally down with that. I think that's pretty. Although I do think I like the original version more. This, The green eyes really get me on that. The green eyes save it, I think. Clobopus! Hey, Clobopus! Not sure the gray for the body is the perfect idea, but... It's just all right. You got some nice, I should, do think you should have went with the red boxing gloves for the shiny, but it's all good. And grab the locks. Oh yes! I think that's probably my favorite one so far. This reminds me of a, of like an arena, this, this is definitely like an arena fighter. That, that is so cool. That's a, that is, he is a wrestler through and through. Look at his mask, it's so cool. Yeah, I actually prefer the shiny to the original variation, which for this Pokedex has been like not very, it's the Jujitsu Pokemon. Sorry, sorry, it's the Jujitsu Pokemon. He's got belt on, of course. But still, looking really cool. And Pinch, Pinchurchin. Pinchurchin? Pinchurchin? Pin, whatever, who cares? It's, 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 whatever. But I will say, it has a decent shiny. Like, if you're going for a Pinch or whatever shiny, you're probably gonna be pretty pleased with this. Oh, wait, Mr. Mime and Mr. Rhyme? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me see the Mr. Mr. Mime shiny is... Terrible. Ah, that's sad. Okay. But Mr. Rhyme's shiny is... Terrible. Ah, uh, why? It's just like more washed out. Why do they think the shiny versions being more washed out is like a good idea? It's like, yeah, what if, we, what if we just took all the color from the original one and, 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 and drained it? There's the shiny one. Like, what makes, there's nothing that makes me want to go for that. Duramaka is, Duramaka is okay. That's fine. Could have turned it into like, yellow snow. No, don't turn it into yellow snow, actually. Don't do that. And Duramaka is fine. Not too much of a change going on there, but it's snow. I mean, what can you really do for snow? Stop. Oh, I love this thing. Please have a good shiny. Yay! I mean, it's, it's freak. Yeah, actually, no, I like this. Because it doesn't depart too much from the original, which makes it, it, it kind of grounds it in reality a bit. It's, 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 that's pretty cool. And I really like this thing. I'm super excited to shiny hunt this thing on twitch.tv slash pirates. By the way, go and follow me. The link's in the description. Go and follow me. I stream pretty much every single day, 11 a.m. EST. As I, I've seen this thing. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this thing in the thumbnails. Pink ice? I, I See, they could have done like a pink ice thing, but then again, they already did, the, they already did with ice cube, so I like this. And then the shiny, or the, the broken version. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a very good, that's fine. 
That works. And then Dura Ludon, I already got this. Now, people are complaining that Dura Ludon Shiny doesn't look very good, but I actually, while I agree that they could have done more, I really like how they made the body platinum because the, the Shiny version actually looks more sturdy and better. I mean, it, it doesn't look... But, I mean, it doesn't actually have any effect on the stats, but I think that the platinum body looks really cool. They could have done something different with the eyes or, like, the blue things on its body and its hands. Definitely, that could have made it stand out a little bit more. But I think the platinum body was a really good choice. And Drago's not... Oh, we're in the fossils now. Whoa! What is this? That is a weird, strange, strange creature, that is. I really like the Yoshi normal form, but this, this, is, this is something out of this world, isn't it? Jesus. In Octazol, which was my uh, Remus in the Nuzlocke, of course. It's, 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 it looks, this is like the really, really cold version. This is the version after like another 10,000 years of being frozen. The very cold one. Dracovish is, oh, weird. Okay, very interesting indeed. This is, this is just a hell spawn. This is, this is God's mistake right there. This was created out of malice or or some kind of horrible sign i mean it was definitely was a scientific experiment but this is definitely a hell spawn have you seen how powerful this thing is in competitive jesus christ and i don't even know what this is supposed to be i, I don't even have any words it's shiny is I, I guess fine but just looking at this creature i'm like what are you what are you oh look it's charmander wait a minute gigantamax charizard shiny hold on hold on yeah oh this is good that's one of my favorites. But I still think Grappelok is my favorite so far. Grappelok is so good. And we're almost at the end. We only have six more Mons. We have Dreepy's Evolution Line, which Dr Shiny Dreepy is... Shiny Dreepy is serviceable. I wouldn't say anything more than that. Serviceable. But Dracolox? Again, serviceable. Oh, I'm really hoping the Dragonapult thing has something good going on here. And... Oh, ooh, the yellow on the outside. That's That stands out. And he has yellow fingers, too. He's been dipping his hands into the yellow paint a little bit too much, haven't you? Yes, you have. All right, Zossians is... Okay, I mean, it's actually not bad. It does lose a lot. The thing is, when they put the shiny version as, like, oh, basically all being one color, I feel like it loses a lot of the definition on the Pokemon. Because it's just it's just all one color now, and I feel like it's not as nice to look at. As they, You can say they really put effort into the normal version of Zossian, and then they were just like, yeah, make it, make it whatever. I see what they do the same thing here. Yeah, they just all made, they made them all red, which, I mean, it's not terrible. I still kind of like it, but it, I feel like it loses a lot of the definition and a lot of what makes it special. But, Eternatus! Oh, wait, you know, I didn't look at, I didn't look at the, the normal versions. Yeah, okay. It, it, it just about, it, it's, it's, yeah. That's exactly what you expect, right? It's just blue. But Eternatus, the last one's the gigantic Pokemon that's not actually gigantic in the overworld. Let's see. Oh no, it's just red. Oh, they could have done something so much more special with this. But wait, 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 wait. Do we get the shiny Eternatus? Yeah, it doesn't even look different. In fact, I'm not even, I'm not even entirely convinced they made a shiny form for this. It looks slightly more red. It's like slightly, ever so slightly tinted more red. Which is unfortunate because, I mean, it could have been really cool. But that is my reaction to every single new shiny form in a Pokemon Sword and Shield. If you did enjoy it, please do destroy that like button right below this video. Of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram too. And make sure you follow me on Twitch because I stream there every single day at 11 a.m. ESC. We also stream on the YouTube channel too. I'd love to see you in the chat for that. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much to our Twitch subs and YouTube members of the day. Remember, if you are a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber, that both gives you access to the sub Discord. And I appreciate you supporting the channel. Thank you so much, guys.